Now it seems quite disingenuous of me to try and review a game called Sound Shapes only to have me talk over the music, so allow me to shut up for a second and I'll let you have a listen. So as you can hear, the real meat of the game comes across, as the name implies, through its sound design, something that the spoken word has never been that great at expressing. Nevertheless, rest assured that sound shape sounds good, regardless of context. Straddling the line between rhythm action and platformer, sound shapes taps into that special melodic mood that video games are so fantastic at providing, and yet so few developers fully tap into. Games such as Res or Vib Ribbon provide gameplay that is fundamentally tied to the sounds you're hearing, either by fully incorporating gameplay mechanics into the sound, or by linking your actions to dramatic changes or swells of the music. Sound Shapes isn't quite like that, and it would be perfectly possible to play the game while muted, but you would be depriving yourself of all the fun by doing so. In Sound Shapes you control a small ball that has to navigate a landscape, or more fittingly a soundscape, and reach the end. So far so Super Mario, but the differentiator comes from picking up notes, which add new parts to the soundtrack. As you collect notes, the track starts to fill in, gently building until the composition is fully finally revealed. Everything in Sound Shapes makes a noise, from the crushing pistons that move to the beat, to the trees that sing melodically when you touch them, or the missiles that only move to the stutter of the bass line. Traversing this trippy topography is often more about musical timing than it is about actual platforming skills. The main campaign goes a stage further with the music theme, with the likes of Dead Mouse and Beck providing a smattering of tracks, amongst others. Each level is divided into a series of stages, or, as the game presents them, albums and tracks. Each LP consists of its own level design and art assets, so playing stages scored by Jim Guthrie, for example, will look and sound completely unique. There is no narrative, nor does there need to be. Take Beck's Cities, for example, where a particular platform alters its properties based on the lyrics. When the lyrics say, move a little, the platform sways slightly, and when it says hurt a little, you better not be stood on it. Superb touches like these help to tie the gameplay and sound design together in an artistic fashion. In addition to the music, Sound Shapes also features a few visual shortcuts to help you understand what is happening. If you touch anything red, you die. If you touch anything grey, you'll stick to it, allowing you to travel on top and underneath certain platforms. You can also perform a roll which makes you unstick from things, and also speed up which is useful when it comes to timing. Despite the fact that each set of stages has its own art style and assets, these cues will help you identify helpful and harmful objects from each other almost instantly. After the campaign, there's also a series of death mode challenges to work through, offering a rather intense test of your abilities. While these challenges are meant to be tough, they do serve to highlight the unwieldy reality of controlling a sticky ball, which ironically is one of the game's main sticking points. The campaign is serviceable enough due to the fact that the level design is fairly basic, but the death mode challenges just emphasise how awkward the controls can be. Momentum never feels 100% right, meaning that it's easy to under or overshoot basic jumps. In an unforgiving challenge mode this soon gets annoying and poorly underlines what is otherwise an excellent game. With only a small number of baked in levels, it's a good thing that there are loads of amazing user created levels out there for you to play. Sound Shapes comes with its own level editor, which it encourages you to use for a handy tutorial. Whilst the design tools are really handy, they also double as a music sequencer, so it should be of interest to anybody who is interested in the composition side of things. Although this enables some people out there to create works of art, it does suffer somewhat from Little Big Planet Syndrome. On casual observation, the creation tools are kind of off-putting, even though they are easier and more intuitive than anything Sackboy ever offered. 
Personally, I found the level editor considerably less fun than their loading levels designed by the talented souls of the internet. Their work is testament that this is a fully functional creation suite, so perhaps I just lack the ingenuity to fully utilise it. Either way, this suite is fully functional, allowing your creations to rival and even surpass anything that you'll see in the main campaign. Given that the game originally released in 2012, there is already a plethora of DLC out there for those digital maestros out there. The game's recent inclusion on PS Plus is obviously an attempt to grow the player base and shift some of the DLC, but even as a standalone game, Sound Shapes is still a worthwhile experience, even if you blast through the campaign in an hour and never touch it again. As mentioned earlier, Sound Shapes speaks for itself through its sound design. So rather than waffle on any further, I would like to award Sound Shapes a power-up gaming score of 8.0 out of 10. Thank you for watching, I've been Adam Lloyd on behalf of Power Up Gaming, please rate and subscribe and visit powerupgaming.co.uk for more great content. I'll leave you with a little bit of the aforementioned cities by Beck. Bye bye everybody, bye bye.